and welcome back to Nancy's Neighborhood. And uh, we talked about the Dolly Parton Imagination Library, which had to do with children and school and reading and books. So what I want, I've, I've asked Melanie Knatzer, who's uh, the uh, president of Junior Achievement of the uh, Okoye region. Mm -hmm. And we have five counties that we serve. We do. And that's a lot of counties, folks. But we have an exciting event coming up Thursday, but we have some good news about the exciting event because when we planned this, we didn't realize that it's exciting. But yeah. Melanie, tell us about the Voices of Christmas. Yes, so Voices of Christmas is this Thursday at the Johnson Theater at Cleveland State. And so we have four elementary school choirs that will be singing Christmas songs. And we have so much excitement about it that we probably are most likely sold out. <laughs> which is, which is good. a good problem. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, but we have um, E.L. Ross, Hopewell Elementary, Mayfield, and Oak Grove Elementary. They will all be singing Christmas songs for us this Thursday. And and it is exciting. It's a fun event, it folks. It really, really is. But I don't think we're going to be able to sell tickets at the door. Probably not. I'm just going to probably say no because these schools have done such a great job selling tickets that we are looking at a full house. So, so basically why they're selling tickets because the choir that sells the most, they will win $250 from Ronstad for their school. Right. So it's a great benefit to give back to the schools. Right. And it's a, it's a fundraiser for Junior Achievement. Mm -hmm. Don't get us wrong there. We, we, it is a fundraiser for Junior Achievement. And we're thrilled that we've had this big a response. Yes. I think some of the schools had to call and ask for more tickets. They did, yes. This is our fourth year. It has grown every single year. So, yeah, we have, it's going to be a close competition as far as which school wins. Whoa. <laughs> I will Whoa. say that. Okay. It's going to be close, so. And that's exciting. It is, yeah. And, and I always work the door. And it's it's fun because the tickets are color-coded. Each school has a certain color ticket that they're supposed to turn in. And yeah. so you see the stacks start doing this and that, and everybody gets all excited and and because uh, everybody wants the $250. Right. But um, we do have a, a, a room where if we can't get in the auditorium. We do, so we do have an overflow room. So if we do sell out, we will have some room uh, for attendees for an overflow to be able to watch it on, on screen if the auditorium is full, so. And the auditorium seats about 250 people? No, actually close to 400. Oh, wow, okay. So. Okay, so, but you got four schools and yep. if each one brings mama, daddy, grandma, and grandpa, and grandma, and grandpa, exactly. then we're full. Yes. And this is, a, I told Melanie when we were talking earlier today, she said, I don't know whether we should talk about this because it's sold out. And I said, but this is a good problem. It is, it is. Because, you know, well, this is fun for Junior Achievement. Um, and also at the same time, just to bring awareness about what we do about Junior Achievement. Great opportunity to you know, share with the parents that night what we actually do at JA, because a lot of people hear about JA and may not exactly know right. what their elementary kids are actually doing in the classroom with JA. And and it's also, I mean, we do elementary, we also do high school, and we also do reality check, which those which are always tomorrow. fun. Which is tomorrow. Which is tomorrow. <laughs> at Lake Forest. And at Lake Forest, and, uh, and uh, that's always fun, and we always need volunteers, but, but Thursday night should be real, real exciting because um, it's very competitive. It's very competitive, and I will say the choirs do outstanding every single year. <laughs> they do. I, I mean, um, I really enjoy them. Songs, they do skits or drama, whatever you want to call that. I mean, it's, it's really fun. And they all have uh, their shirts their or shirts. their uniforms or something. Yep. I went to um, uh, Partner Day at Hopewell not long ago for lunch, and they had, uh, Tanova had donated to their choir these bright yellow really pretty I saw that yeah the Viking yeah, yeah. I, saw that. I mean the uh, the tiger choir and so it's it's really really neat and so everybody you we don't have any problem knowing Who's the who? schools because they come in like that and, and it's it's really cute yes. and they do some great things they they do it's it's fun it's only an hour uh, fun event to get the 
you know, students home for basketball and all that. So, mm -hmm. and it starts at six thirty. Six thirty. Six thirty. Mm -hmm. Now, Melanie and I were talking about this because even though we we may not have room for you there, but if you're a supporter of one of these schools and you still want to go buy a five dollar ticket, you can do that and uh -huh. then give it back to the school to turn in. Yes. And it will count as a vote for them. Yeah, a vote for their school. Right. Yeah. So, and then you don't even have to attend if you don't want to. Yeah. You know, and what would be nice if I could get my boys over there from WTNB to televise this. Wouldn't that be good, Bryce? Bryce is over there just screaming He's at me. Okay. Like, <laughs> <He's> <laughs> and we'll talk, Bryce. But I think that would kind of be nice. And the thing I like about this is it's great PR for Junior Achievement. Uh -huh. Because we get out in the public and they know about us, but it's also great PR for the schools. Oh, definitely, definitely. And they have these wonderful choirs that will come and entertain you. Yes. They'll sing for your Christmas party. <laughs> They'll do whatever you want them to do. I mean, that's, yes, that's what they do. These choirs, and they are involved, I mean, not only J.A.'s event this Thursday, but just talking to some of these choir teachers, these students have a lot going on, singing at other places, mm -hmm. so... I mean, they are, they're a great, great group. They are a great group, and they're big supporters <laughs> of, the, of the community. Mm -hmm. And I know that, y that Sunday was the uh, concert at Cleveland State with their choir, uh -huh. and the Cleveland Pops and Parkview sang uh -huh. for that one. And, and then I know that some of the schools have been, I think it was Prospect, sang at the courthouse last Thursday. And, you know, they, they just go everywhere oh, yeah. and sing. Yeah. And, and Hopewell was at Tanova. Uh -huh. So, I mean, you know, it, it's really great that they get out there and, and do this. And, and uh, of course, as a, as a proponent of the arts, I'm thrilled when the schools participate yes. and do these things. Definitely. And, and we would love to have more than four choirs, but we can't do it. Yes, just, just space. So we just, the first four choirs that talk to J.A. about it, they're, they're the ones that are it for this year. We would love to expand the event next year, so we're in the works about that, talking about maybe expanding it for next year. So popular, I mean, parents love it. So it's a great, yeah. great event. It's very fun. Now, we also have a, have a drawing or two and do some, yes. what is it Rick and I are supposed to do? All right, so we... <laughs> I don't know. Rick Platts and I get assigned <laughs> this every year, and I forget. I mean, it's been a whole year. What did I do? Yes. Yeah, so you are actually sponsoring our oh. one hundred dollar Visa gift card. Okay. So if parents, they can just donate a dollar for each ticket, and they'll have a chance to win this at the night of the event. And it's Christmas time, so mm. it'd be a great opportunity for some extra Christmas shopping. So, just a dollar per ticket. Uh, that's a donation that goes to Junior Achievement to fund our elementary school programs. Hundred dollar Visa gift card. So, and you can you can we actually have a deal going. So you can even you can either do a dollar per ticket or three dollars. You get five tickets. Oh wow! So okay, now you'll retrain Rick and I Thursday night. We will. So that we we will. don't have to be doing. <laughs> we will. <laughs> After a year, we forget what we're doing. But it's it's a really good opportunity, and I'm not eligible for it, folks. I mean, Rick's not either because we're selling the tickets on it. But but this is a really great opportunity, and uh, just tell people briefly. I mean, I've had Melanie on before to tell you about JA, but we spend this money how. So we have a great opportunity to bring the real world into the classroom through Junior Achievement. So we have volunteers from the business community going into the classroom, as I mentioned earlier, K through 12. And we focus on educating students about money management, uh, work readiness, making sure they have those soft skills they need to be successful when they get out mm -hmm. of school. And then also we educate students about entrepreneurship and and it's so much more than just simply starting a business because there's a lot of skills that students can gain from learning about entrepreneurship. Uh, so that's our three main areas of focus with JA. And one thing that I love about Junior Achievement is our curriculum, it correlates to state standards. So mm -hmm. our teachers love that and always welcome us, welcome us in and our volunteers. Um, that are just bringing, you know, some their real life experience to these students, sharing what they do uh, in the real world. So students kind of get a glimpse of that. Right. And I know having taught, they always enjoy having someone besides the regular teacher. In right. Front of them. Yeah, it's a good change up. 
So in our, typically our programs are five sessions. So the volunteer goes, visits the students about once a week. Right, for about an hour. I taught mm -hmm. fourth grade Miss Dockery at Prospect yep. last year. It was very, very simple except the one little thing that I had to do. <laughs> well, I had to go by and JA office and they had to show me how to <laughs> fold it and then they had to show me how to work it and then I get in the classroom and uh, Reverend Sears' grandson said, no, this is how you do it and he just did just like that, put it right on his hand and there we went. And I thought, yes. okay, well, I didn't ever do that. So anyway, uh, but it, it's a learning experience for the volunteers too and, and, a, and a great experience. And then we also did some businesses this year. We did. We did the JA Company program, and I must say our volunteers were outstanding. They spent 13 weeks with high school students at Goal Academy in Walker Valley, and these students did a great job. I wish I had time to tell oh, I know. all about I, it. I need but you to come back on and tell they, about that. It's yeah, wonderful. Yeah, they started a business. You know, they created their own business plan, marketing plan. These kids went out. Paid their own bills pay their own mm -hmm. bills and the great thing about it is they are uh, donating their revenue to uh, local charities here in Cleveland. And that's and I bought two tubs of cookie dough. I, I know I bought a tub too and I made three pans of cookies. I gave mine to my son and then I also <laughs> bought a rally towel yeah. and a bracelet from Walker Valley and so yeah so it's a great program it is, and yeah. it was and I, I think our volunteers had had a lot of fun so they did Melanie thank you so much no, for being on with you, now folks this is Thursday night and if you want to volunteer I mean if you want to donate you can uh, if you want to come out um, we may not have room for you <laughs> and we're sorry I mean this is a wonderful problem to have it is. but Melanie thank you so much for being with us Thanks, Nancy. folks thank you all so much for being with us today in Nancy's neighborhood and I'll see you again next time bye-bye